Hi everyone! Welcome back to Experiment Time with Molly. <laughs> Welcome to my art channel. I am on an exploration of a specific color palette and different designs. I guess by now it's a mini series with 24 karat gold. Um, so I have my satin enamel mixture and the 24 karat gold. They are Deco Art brand. And I've been using yellow, magenta, and turquoise. And I've been playing around with different ways that I can get the pearl cells along the edges. So I am gonna try the circular technique again. The first time I puddled the paints in the middle, I'm actually not going to do that this time. I think I am going to fully do circular rings. So, I'm trying to decide what color I want to start with. I think I'm going to start with the magenta. <laughs> Cuz that that's magenta. Okay. <laughs> with my turquoise and then my magenta. My yellow. I love taking a color palette and just playing around with it. But what it does and what it helps with is keeping all things constant and changing one thing allows you to figure out what's going on. And so then you can really hone your practice, your art practice and figure out how to recreate certain techniques. So that's why I do these things. Um, and I love them. It's fun to do. But if you were to take a completely different color palette based on the opacity, the transparency, the weights of those paints, whether they're metallic or not, all of those things will affect your outcome. So you won't know if it's because of the colors you use, the brands of paint that you used, or if it's because of the actual thing that you changed. So that's why I really try to hold things constant. And you'll see a lot of videos come out of me on one technique, trying something different, because I'm really trying to pinpoint exactly what is creating the effect that I like. And sometimes I don't get there. Sometimes experiments don't work out, but I have fun trying for sure. All right, so I am going to do a little circle of white. That is not a circle. <laughs> it's more like a flower. Okay. Now it's more like a circle, I guess. And that was the other thing I actually wanted to try to do was maybe put the white and the gold on the outer edges here because I had colors here last time and like spread and thin them out a little bit so that they'll stick to the canvas and the colors will roll over them. Oh, so many experiments, so many different factors. When people say, oh my gosh, this is so easy to do. Okay. <laughs> Cause it's not for sure. Um, all right, do I wanna keep the layers the same? I think I will. I think I will. My hand always gets, my pore always gets lighter around these sides. All right. Then magenta. Yellow, and this will be my last circle, and then just white and gold are, is going around the edges. Now I do expect to get a little bit more jagged design again, just because I don't have as much paint. Then I'm gonna circle the white in between there. Okay, so I could just stretch this out. It would be very jagged lines in the middle. So I am gonna swipe, and I feel like I kind of wanna swipe 
out like that. Oh, look at those cells. Maybe I'll swipe this one. Like that. And again, the color needs to really come over the white in order to get those reactions. Just swiping the colors over one another doesn't really work. And I said that I was gonna try to like spread this out a little bit to the edges already. gonna look messy now but hopefully not when I'm finished <laughs> I don't oh <laughs> oh no well you're getting dragged up in there Okay, so this color combination, this is what's hard about the circular one is that you don't have quite so much white to drag over to get the effect. Ooh, that's really pretty. Ooh, that is really pretty. It's time for the small palette knife for this section. This has been so much fun. And I feel like this is a great color palette for like spring, summer. Okay, I feel like maybe that's, maybe that's it. Yeah, I think the rest of it I'll just leave as big, bold pops of color there. I feel like this one is definitely gonna look different than the other two. But you never know, when you stretch it out, we will see. Gosh, I wish I could just leave that. I'm gonna do it one of these days. I've said it I don't know how many times. It's just like whether it cracks or not, I'm just gonna leave the painting exactly the way it is not stretched out. I actually really like this, the palette knife swipes that I did to get the paint to the edges. Oh, I don't wanna lose all that. I do not want to lose all that. This is the side that I don't care for as much, so I'm gonna do a hard stretch this way. Bring it back. What I'm looking for is the cell reaction on the outer edges. And I just stretched basically all of my paint, all of my colors off, but I'm trying to go for a specific composition as well.
So I loved it how it was. The only reason I stretched this out the way that I did was to see if I could get that reaction. And again, it's starting. It's starting, so we'll see if this one develops. It's got it a lot more around the sides. I am gonna come in. I loved it the way that it was at the very beginning. I'll be honest. But let's just see what happens here. So I'm gonna take my palette knife. I'm trying to look at the other two on my table and see if they look similar and they don't. This one has a lot more turquoise in it because that was my center color. But I am getting a lot of cell reactions starting to pop up along here. So my experiment, I am thinking was successful. I don't want to play around too much. I just want to let this start to develop and kind of see where it goes. Okay, I'm pretty happy with this. I don't know if I'll experiment anymore. I got, I'm looking at my other one too. I got basically the reaction that I wanted. Using less paint is a lot more difficult because the design just stretches out in the center. It just does not hold its shape. If I wasn't going for that whole look that I was going for before, then I would have just left it the way it was because it was gorgeous. But I see a lot of stuff happening here. All right. I'm just like staring in wonder. All right, I'll show you what this looks like. All right, so here this is. I forgot to video it and moved it over to my drying table. But see, I'm getting that reaction on the outer edges everywhere and it's like encasing the painting in the center. I think it is so cool. I got that one fingerling there. And then this started to happen here, these little patches of turquoise popping on through. Look at that. Super cool. So this was that experiment. And then I guess I can move over and show you the other ones. This was the first ring experiment I did and this was the first swipe with the 24 karat gold. So yeah, all totally different. All right, I'll show you how this one dries. Here is number three. I won't say it's my final because I can't promise that I won't do more of these. But you can see all those reactions did. They started to develop. They worked their way kind of towards the center. Look at this area here. That was a straight strip of white at one point, and then all those cells popped up like a snowflake. And then it almost looks like there's glitter in that veining of the 24 karat gold all throughout. Oh, absolutely so happy with this one. And I really love that the magenta turned into almost like a purple down here. And it's just so subtle. It's just the right amount. But anywho, so here was number three. 
And this one I think is is my favorite. I really like number two and I really like number three. But you can let me know what you think. I had so much fun with this little mini series on 24 karat gold. All right, thank you so much for watching. Happy painting. Bye.